welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on, like, what happens if your parents aren't at school. Um, also, this is a good video to do because, sorry, I'm getting comfortable. Um, if you, if it does happen, what should you do? How should you, um, be prepared to get it if you just, and, like, what should you go home? Or, like, questions. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is you'll probably already have a period kit. If you are watching this, you should make a period kit because if it happens, um, it would be perfect if you had them because they will, um, you can just put pop in a pad on your underwear and you'll be good. And also you can just clean up with the wipes that you put in your period kit. So I definitely recommend bringing a period kit and I'll show you mine all right so I changed it into this bag and this is mine it has liners uh, wipes um pads and I have one tampon in there just in case um just in case you're swimming that day and you really need to swim like whatever just you can try to use one um, sorry. So, I'm going to show you, like, the ones I would put in. I was going to care for your octopus body shape. A, I was going to use them, um, active. For wipes, I would use a Summer's Eve Sheer Floral. And always clean. And let me get the e Cortex. I would also recommend you you buy Codex brand, and I just got these if you want to check out my period haul, um, go check that out. Um, so yeah, you can see those, find out what, like, what they are, and what they're used for and stuff in that video. So yeah, so those are, like, the wipes and liners I would use. In a period kit, I would bring, like, three of these. And three of these, two of these, two of these, and of course, two of these. And there's one, two, like one of the, one of these packets, but two of them, just like the package. So then for pads, I would use either a e like it's clean, which is not my favorite, or or an always totally, always ready to totally clean pad. Um, these two are good because they're smaller for people who have, who are kids and they have smaller um, parts. So those are good if you have like a smaller part. Then I would also bring some tissues just to clean up if there's like bad toilet paper and you don't want to use them. Tissues. But that's optional. And that's good if you're bringing a period kit. If you don't already have one, check out my school period kit. And, or just watch this video. Doesn't matter. Um, also, this is my second video for my back to school series. And so... I'm just going to do that. So if it does happen in school, good thing you have a period kit. You can just pop a um, period or a pad in there, or like if again a tampon if you have absolutely have to, or you can just go home that day. Um, I would recommend going home that day so that you feel comfortable with your mom. You can just talk to her about things and everything and yeah um but if you can't she's working or something your parents can't pick you up um if you don't have a um your period kit what you can use is i don't have it right now okay but okay so this is what a pad actually looks like i'll show you what a real pad looks like this is what a pad actually looks like, and this is the safe rate ultrasound, 
and this is what it actually looks like and basically these are good for um like you can um get your sock i know it's weird but take your sock take your sock off and if you don't want to look weird take both socks off and put toilet paper around the sock so that it looks kind of like a pad and put that in your underwear and you'll actually feel fresh that they feel like you're actually wearing a pad which is good if you don't have a period kit um if you if you don't if you don't have any of that stuff you were flip flops that day or, or flats or something and you feel comfortable you actually should at, um, tell the front desk and and say I got my period I need um, I need some shorts they'll give you extra shorts if they're, you're bleeding or whatever or um, something like that they'll probably have like wipes and pads because it's a school and why shouldn't they because that in middle school they should definitely have them I'm not sure about elementary, but they should definitely have them in middle school because that's when your body's changing more, more, more or less. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, please subscribe. I hope you like this video and comment down below other back to school videos you would like me to do. And again, please subscribe. I hope you like this video. Your girl, your girl, you girls will learn lots from me. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.